All right, so here's two-factor authentication. I've got an email um, from my university saying that I need to sign in using two-factor authentication. We want to get the Authenticator app. Okay, so here we go, Microsoft Authenticator. Let's go ahead and download that. So once you've downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator app, go ahead and press next on your device here. Add an account, I'm gonna go use the QR code. Now I can scan that code using the Authenticator app. Okay, so I've just clicked on school account like they've told me to, and I'm gonna scan the QR code. So head, go ahead and scan. That's gonna grab the image and start processing, and it pops up that account, and there you go you want to go ahead and enable phone sign-in so let's go click on that and then we'll press on continue which method would you like to use we're going to go ahead and say phone press on confirm select your state and all the rest of it and you should get an sms or a text message and then you can use that code from the text message we'll go ahead and press on next and then it says sms verified your phone was registered successfully press on next now I've already set up my two-factor authentication with my phone number and I'm going to get it to text me a number here, a verification number code. So I'm just looking at this, it's going to send it to my phone and I should be able to put the code in there. So here we go, I've got my authenticator's code here, so that's the code. Let me just go ahead and verify. It says more information required. Your organization needs more information to keep your account secure. Uh, next, it says, do you want to approve this? I'm gonna go ahead and say approve. And then that should log me in, use my face ID. And it says Microsoft Authenticator has been approved. Click on next. Do you wanna stay signed in? Yes, I do. Go ahead and press yes. And it's logged me in using two-factor authentication. So. As you've seen, you have to register your app. It's best to register your, your phone number as well. And then that way you've got more options than just using the Authenticator app. You can you get an SMS activation to log in. I hope that helps out. Peace out. I'll catch you in the next one.